XRP is still holding on to most of its BTC ETF gains. We'll catch you up with XRP price. Emmer, well, guess what? We've got news regarding Emmer as Speaker of the House for all you crypto fans out there. While an exchange delists XRP, but I'm not worried and I'm going to share with you the info so you don't get sucked into the negative FUD. And Kathy Wood is taking profits and that's what I'm asking you on this latest pump. Are you taking profits? Today is about news and learning, so let's get right to it. I had a poll, which I'll have linked in the description below. 56% of you said this is going to be another pump and dump, while 44% yes said yes, we got more to go. Now, I asked this question in September. Now, look at this. 62% of you said September was going to be red, while 38% said green. So look at that. Some of that 62% red moved to the green, so we've got more hope and optimism in the market. That's why I ask everyone here, Every couple of months, how you're feeling about things. Ty Fan says, has he won yet or was he just nominated? We will get to it, Ty Fan. Don't worry shortly. Bitcoin's in at 34,506E, 1796. XRP, away from its highs, but we still got some gains. 55.4. Sol still making a move above that 30 cent mark. I doubt that one will last. XLEB lost a good chunk of their gains, sitting at 11.4. HBAR at 5.1. And XDC not moving much. 4.9. Emmer didn't last. His crypto ties run deep. House Republicans cast aside House Majority Whip Tom Emmer as their latest nominee. Basically, he did not win. But his ties to the crypto industry run deep and have endured even as digital currencies come under increased scrutiny. The Minnesota Republican has been long favored by crypto executives. And guess what, everyone? He did not make it. He has been referred to the king of crypto of Congress. Open Secrets called him the most powerful crypto evangelist in Congress, even as much res of Washington has been hesitant to embrace alternative currency. So Emmer did not make it. I, I, I said a few days ago that I said Emmer has no chance. I was shocked he got nominated, but got ousted right away. Major exchange, you list XRP pair. What's going on? Look, don't fall for the FUD. All right, this is coming from OKX, and they're removing the XRP OKB pair along with 16 others. If you want to read the 16 others, I will have them linked in the description below. Some Sushi, some Maker, some Curve, some Chi. Chinese journalist Wu Blockchain took to X to share the announcement highlighting why these spot trading players will be delisted. The decision was reportedly made to improve the spot trading environment on the exchange, uphold strict listing requirements, and optimize liquidity. Additionally, the platform assured that it will constantly observe the performance of all the list trading pairs and review their listing qualifications regularly. So essentially, there was no juice for the XRP OKB. I'm not worried, and neither should you be. So don't fall for the FUD. Binance was experiencing some withdrawals. Got fixed, though, several hours later. Again, nothing to worry about. What am I worried about? Oh, I'm worried about Miss Kathy Woods over here. ARK Invest makes second day's worth of sales of Grayscale and Coinbase. Okay, so recently, crypto is pumped. Well, when crypto pumped, a lot of crypto-based stocks pumped too, Coinbase and so forth. Kathy Wood, ARK Invest, has been one of the biggest crypto proponents out there. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, your Star Lumens Trust, your Ethereum Trust, all that shit. Well, guess what, everyone? Kathy Woods is part of the 40... No, Kathy Woods is part of the 56% who thinks there's a dump coming and she sold. Interesting, isn't it? Kathy Woods, ARK Invest, continued reducing exposure to crypto assets for a second consecutive day. According to disclosures from the firm's ARK Net Generation ETF, sold about $1.8 million worth of GBTC, the little grayscale Bitcoin trust, so she thinks that BTC bubble is going to pop, and 1.7 million shares of Coinbase, a global spread of the crypto market. This comes after ARK reportedly sold $3.3 million worth in Coinbase and over 100 thousand gptc units on monday capitalizing on the recent rally so are you taking profits or do you believe we have more to come now that we look at the price of xrp we can see distinctly here yeah we did not get past that 58.5 nope 58.2 technically didn't get past that now we've held north of 55 here for most of the move but i don't know everyone that is a big retracement from 58 and what news do we have for the rest of the week? Jerome Powell be friendly to us. We know that. Not too worried about that. Middle East conflict has kind of taken, I don't want to say a backseat, but they're not as hot as it used to be a few days ago, even a week ago. We got economic shutdown worries, but you're not going to hear about that while the Speaker of the House election is going on. So 
I'm inclined to say that this move won't last, but the reason why it won't last is going to come from a multitude of possibilities. And essentially what we're talking about right now is will this BTC ETF pump last? Now, more of you in the poll are thinking, no, it won't last. And we're seeing it now with the prices. In fact, there's some commenters yesterday that said, hey, look, XLM erased most of their gains. And I was like, dude, pumps and dumps. So the market moved on BTC ETF speculation, but now the market's trying to trace Bitcoin pulling back from its highs. So buy the rumor, sell the news. Is that what's going on right now? Are we still seeing that? I'm inclined to believe that that is the truth. Why? Well, because money is still super expensive. The move that came from this Bitcoin ETF action was great to see. Super happy about it. I'm actually very happy to see it. Because it tells me there's some life and some enthusiasm in the market. But there's not that much money in the market. And that's why these moves don't last. As I'm looking at the charts right now, we're at 55.3. We made the move up from 50 cents. So that's still good, right? Up 10%. No one's really going to complain about that. But what about holding on to even more? And what about all the other things that we got coming up? By the way, student loan payments. Yep, you're going to be hearing about that big time. Credit defaults. Oh, crap. Credit defaults are going up too. I was reading an article before I went online exactly about that. Homes, cars, personal loans, along with credit cards. Look for some defaults happening, which could put more negative pressure on the market. But right now, we're still in the green, and I'm happy to see it. But green only matters if you take profits, if it retreats back to neutral or red you're out unless you're hodling waiting for longer green but i'm going to leave you with this statement channel is always about learning positive and negative and well i'll leave you with this no one ever went broke while taking profits